My name is Dan Bell, and I love the Everglades. For the next 50 minutes, I'm going to show you why I love the Everglades so much. You're going to get to see the beauty of the swamp, as well as forgotten places that are down the dirt roads that have been abandoned for 30 years. It's going to be a fun trip. So sit back, relax, and let's get into this. first stop on this adventure is Pahokee, a small town of about 5,000, located on the shore of Lake Okeechobee. Pahokee was voted the worst place to live in Florida, and if that wasn't bad enough, Pahokee has the abandoned Everglades Memorial Hospital sitting smack dab in the middle of town. Closed since 1998, this crumbling ruin is evidence of better days here in Pahokee. Let's go have a look inside. Goddamn mosquitoes everywhere. This hospital opened in 1936. This building here opened in 1950 and was built to accommodate the growing population of Pahokee. The long dark hallways were filled with wasp nests, black mold, and swamp critters. Still, it was interesting to see a 63-room hospital lying in ruin. When you live in a big city, you're used to hospitals being open because they need to accommodate the population. But if you live here in Pahokee and you're having a medical emergency, you have to jump in the car and drive to the next town. Nothing's ever easy around these parts. Absolutely nothing. The amount of wasps that were lining the building was ridiculous. Well, at least we're not inside. Yeah, thank God. Bees are everywhere. Who did that? Look at that. One thing I learned after being attacked by bees in New Mexico is if you're in a building and you don't know if there are bees, just stand still and listen. If you hear a hive, you know to run the other way. That's exactly what I was doing here.
There's nests everywhere. Yeah, I know. There are literally bees' nests all over. I keep listening to see if I can hear a hive. This is the sunset in Fakahatchee Strand, home to the largest population of Florida panthers in the entire state. Although I've never seen a Florida panther, it doesn't stop me from trying. I've been out during the day, during the night, I've even sat in the middle of the swamp, quiet as can be, just hoping to catch a glimpse, and it's never happened. They estimate that there's 120 to 280 Florida panthers left in the wild. Their numbers continue to dwindle, but there is a glimmer of hope. There are tons of conservation efforts to bring back habitat and to maintain the animal's population as is. This is a very large area, and the chances of seeing a Florida panther are very slim, but it doesn't stop me from trying. Boy, this is a long road. Really long road. Go ahead and turn the light on. Just put it on low, yeah. Okay. Do you see his eyes? Turn up a little bit brighter. We just missed him. Damn it! They're too fast! They're too frightened by us. still here. His tail is right there. Here, let me see the light. Let me see if I can get a closer look at it. Yeah, he's pretty big. Look at him. He's going to take off. Watch. He's not taking off. Boy, he's a big boy. That is a big alligator. Alright, let's let him be. Let him enjoy his night hunting, which is what he looks like he... Lovely night rain. Oh, it's starting to rain. You always ruin everything.
Okay. Well. Well, this is getting more creepy as yeah as the night proceeds. It's adding to the aura. The uh, aura. The no, aura. No, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> the aura. No, the uh, what's the it's atmosphere? Atmosphere. The yeah. Aura. <laughs> it was. Wait, shine it over here again. Holy shit, he's gone. <laughs> okay, he took off. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't coming back towards us. Here, shine it over here. Let's see if he's... Yeah, he's... He wanted to get out of the rain. Yeah, he took off. You're getting bit up. I'm there. The rain is hitting me. I'm wet, and then they're getting stuck on my skin. <laughs> it's not great. I think we need bug protection. I have spray on. I do. It's amazing how loud it is when you're close to it. It's just... Ooh! <laughs> oh my god. Ooh! He was right there at the top of that pine right there. That was so awesome. He was so close. That was like the most awesome thing. That was so cool. That was so crazy. Jake is applying a coating of DEET. You need it out here. It, the, the mosquitoes are terrible. Florida has a lot of crazy roadside attractions, and this one is no exception. This is the Skunk Ape Research Center, a museum and swamp zoo dedicated to the Everglades-owned bipedal, Bigfoot-esque cryptid known for its long hair and terrible odor. Let's go inside and have a look around. This is a very interesting place. Interesting. So it looks uh, 
Gator skull. <laughs> that is very weird. It really is. Yeah. Oh, wow. What we need to be able to put a mask in white. Yeah, for sure. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. That's massive. That's a big snake. Boy, he's a big boy. Where did um, where did he come from? She came from another animal exhibit that disbanded. Uh, they sold her to one of their former employees, who subsequently abandoned it where he was uh, renting. Hmm. And his ex landlord gave it to me. May I? Uh... You may touch her all you like, but she's ticklish. So when you touch her, she's going to twitch. Okay. It's not aggressive, it's just reflexive. Right. And you will jump as well. Let me see. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. That's so weird. But you could do that all day long, and she would twitch all day long, but not do anything about it. If she gets really tired of it, she'll hiss and crawl away. How long is she? 21 feet 3 inches. Oh my god. And we're estimating uh, 375 pounds. But that's purely an estimate. There's right. no way for us to know. And um, what does she eat? She eats previously frozen rabbits and guinea pigs. Usually uh, two large rabbits every two weeks. I was feeding her two rabbits and three guinea pigs a week. But as you can see, she was... Uh, taking on more calories than she should. Her skin is so beautiful. It's, oh, yeah, it's like really nice vinyl. Yeah, it's like uh, with iridescence. that iridescence is so gorgeous. You want this or not? What do you got there, frozen wrap? Yeah, and I mean <laughs> frozen. <laughs> hey, Grumpy, come here. Well, there he goes. You missed it, boy. Is that a mice sickle? <laughs> Damn, that is a big alligator. This one requires a little more hold. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Circle the throat like that. Your hand is behind his mouth. Firmly. And here, back further on the tail. Back further on the tail. Further on the tail. And whole hand tightly. There you go. Kiss wow. him. <laughs> Give him a little smooch. He's so cute. He is cute. Continue holding him tightly. I'm going to make him open his mouth more. Come on, get mad. Get mad. Wow, look at that. Mm. He is pissed. Tortoise. 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 something that ought to be fun to chew on. No, no, no! <laughs> yeah! No, you can't eat the... You can't eat the, um... No. You can't eat the, uh... Lens. No, she's, o she's okay. <laughs> uh-huh. 
you grew up on this property. Grew up on this property. And you started this uh, interest in skunk ape because you found footprints when you were a teenager. Yeah. And then you actually had a sighting. Yeah. It tell tell me a little bit about the sighting that you had, and and when that happened. You know, I, I, the only reason that it, I'm having a little hard time because I'm not real good with dates, but it was in the early '90s. There was a rash of sightings in, in the area. Um, over a hundred people saw the skunk ape. Tour buses full of people who were on the, the back roads here in the Big Cypress. Everybody witnessed it. It wasn't just one person. And so I got to thinking, well, if they're active, if they're on the move, then maybe I should go where I saw as a kid and set up a, a stand. So I set up a tower stand and I spent six months there, and at the end of the six months, um, it was probably like two weeks before I was going to call it off, I heard something coming in the water, and it was splashing like a man would be walking, and I had seen and heard everything, and this was just different. And so I focused on where the noise was coming from, and out of the bushes, it walked a, a skunk ape. It just looked like a man covered with hair, maybe seven feet tall, a little taller than the man, but not the giant Bigfoot, 800 pounds. No, it was more more like a man covered with hair. That's what it looked like to me. This creepy piece of footage of an alleged skunk ape was uploaded to YouTube in 2013 by Josh Highcliffe. Cryptid researchers claim that this piece of footage is authentic and that we're looking at a real creature. Of course, without being there or knowing the true identity of the person who shot it, there's no way to determine if it's real or not. But I must say, regardless of what you think, this is a pretty creepy video. Do you believe in the skunk ape? I mean, to be honest. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, because I, I get I get this question a lot. Trust me, I, you know, working here, and, and honestly, I mean, I don't like to lie to people. That's just not my thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Obviously, I'm highly skeptical. Highly skeptical that whatever we say is exactly that it is. That that's what it is. Um, I'd like to say that there's truth to it because it's been around for thousands of years. I can't just imagine it being around for so long without there being some kind of truth to it. Um, I always tell people that maybe it's some kind of government experiment, you know, maybe we want to create a super soldier that's fighting in the jungle. Because we don't, you know, in certain wars we fought, we lost. And so maybe we're trying to figure out how to make a, somebody who's capable of fighting those types of terrain. People don't ever think about that kind of stuff, but we have, we have research facilities out here, monkey facilities and stuff like that. I know we're into genetic, genetically modifying things now. That's not as far-fetched anymore, you know? I'm sure they'll make a movie about it in the next five years. Um, but like in terms of like the Native Americans, out of respect, I don't say 100% that it's not real because out of respect for them, I like to think, well, there's probably some truth to it.
going to take to do in the kind of so. in your hands, Jake. <laughs> all the way. Is it going to get worse than this? The guy, the one we talked to earlier, said we could go. He said it might be blocked, but just go around. Just go around it. You want to go around it? Uh, I mean, wait a minute. Just go. Yeah. There's nobody out here. There's not going to be anybody back there. Right. Just careful. Don't run over that thing. <laughs> this has become even more treacherous. We'll be alright. Oh good, the road and ends. And the road ends. Alright, gravel time. Exploring the Big Cypress Swamp at night isn't for wimps. It's always a surreal and creepy experience. One for people who do go out there at night will never forget. There is total darkness, and every slithering creature and bug is out for the hunt. I both love and dread these nights. But I'll tell you one thing, I never turn down the opportunity. It's huge. It is massive. It's a beautiful building, too. Yeah. Shine down the road there.
some kind of a hotel resort kind of thing. But it's uh, it's abandoned. It's probably been abandoned a long time. Look at the window. Every bug known to man is out here, <laughs> and they're just they're horrible. It's the worst. But let's keep going. I'm just trying to find a way over there. These shingles really look like snakes. I know, that's why I'm like... Is this a sidewalk? Yeah, I'm fine. It's all boarded up. Looks like an old gas station or something. Maybe a old restaurant. This is concrete. Oh, oh, what? I can't walk straight into a huge web. <laughs> I swear to God, there's a spider on me now.
first car we've seen in like a while. Yeah. Yeah, there's some uh, many of these. Uh, these mud daubers. How long do you think they've been? Uh, vacant. This thing. I mean, this has been vacant a long time. Ugh, yeah, I don't know about that. This place would have been a hellhole when those mud covers were everywhere. I bet there's an alligator under the house. <laughs> I really wouldn't doubt it. Jesus, Jake, look at the size of this spider. Oh, great. Right here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> look at that. Holy shit! That's a big... Spider. Hey, remember when I just walked into a web? Yeah, but you didn't walk into a web that big. Holy, I swear to God, I don't think I've ever seen a spider that large before. That is huge. That's yeah. terrifying. Well, it's all part of nature. He's doing his thing, we're doing ours. Yeah, I could leave that nature part. And all these damn bugs and shit that are biting us, and he's uh, the one who eats uh, most of them. Look at him. Uh, Boy, he's big. See, he wants to be left alone. So let's leave him alone. Let's do that. Man, that's all just jungle out there. That's like literally just jungle. hideous. So ugly. <laughs> it's the ugliest photo I've ever seen. <laughs> Even the frogs hate it. Listen. Is that the frog's disapproval? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. 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 All I hear in the mic is mosquitoes. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> God. Oh yeah, show everyone your machete. I have a machete. <laughs> Just in case.
would be nice to see one do something like eat eat or play on an iPad <laughs> I just want to watch him browse the internet yeah I want to see him browse eBay <laughs> Now that way is just a big prairie beyond those trees. Water comes up to about the middle of your calf, maybe. Probably gets a little deeper further in. But uh that way looks interesting. It's like beautiful out here, but it's really kind of spooky it's very, very as good. well. <laughs> What is it? It sounds like something walking. If it's a bear, I'd like to see it, but I don't... I don't want to see it. Alright, let's just go. Just get out of here. I want to see what it is. I don't. Maybe if I just... There it goes again. We gotta go. We're still like... We're like 20 minutes from the car. What time is it? Like 4 o'clock? Around 4 Okay. All right, fine. Great, I'm glad we've no fun. <laughs> oh God. We're about to be killed by a woodland creature, and you're picking shit up off the ground. <laughs> Careful. Don't fall. I just I just want to get out of here.
Alright, we're finally... Finally back. Oh my god. That was a pretty good hike. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you were terrified. I don't know what that was. I don't know what we were hearing. But it couldn't have been good. There's probably a bear. And I like our frantic hike to get back. Yeah, I almost fucking killed myself. <laughs> I wasn't even scared. You're the one who made it all freaky and crazy. Oh. Was it a bear? Was it an alligator? Was it the skunk ape? <laughs> I hope this film inspires you to go out and explore this magical, mysterious place called the Everglades. There's really no place like it on Earth. I love it, and I think you'll love it too. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>